Hey, good morning, everybody. So I think it's like, I think it's the 11th. It's a Sunday. If I'm wrong, Bear Bait will put a little ticker down there to correct me. Um, had a good night. We slept in this little, uh, uh, like a flash flood river type wash, super sandy. <clears throat> had a little bit of trouble setting up the tent because it's uh, it's not freestanding. So I had to dig around and find boulders. But uh, then, like an idiot, I had two Mountain Dews and a Dr. Pepper yesterday afternoon. So I didn't fall asleep till like 11 and that's not good. But it's going to be a great day. I got some really cool shots of the uh, sunrise this morning. But we're just pulling up tent. Mine was right underneath there. Space Pants is was right up there and he's putting his stuff away say hello space pants good morning there he is he's a handsome fella isn't he but we've got about we got under 10 miles to go to get to this water tank thing i think uh and we did get some information from some hikers yesterday that it's uh it's stocked and it's good to go so carry bare minimum carry about two liters of water to get us there but it's nice it's not super hot yes so we're gonna head out but i hope this finds everybody healthy happy and well Day three of the CDT, and the sun is super, super, super bright. Maybe I should put these on. All right, guys, fish tank out. Get with you later. Hey everybody, fish tank here. So it's about, I don't know, 2 o'clock, 1, 1.30, something like that. And I'm at about 12 miles for the day. So at, at 9.8, there was this, uh, I, think, I forgot to take a picture of it. There's this uh, like windmill. Um, and they have a pump and it pumps some water up into a, a cattle trough for the ranchers out here. And we can get water out of that. So I got some water there and then that was about 9.8 miles for the day. So I'm about 12 now. We've got about another four miles make it about a 16 mile day to get to water cache number three. That's the first water cache Gary and I and everybody. See, that's the thing, look, where'd the trail go? So you find out you've been walking and the trail just disappears. But fortunately, there's those things up there, the, the mile, the posts, that, but there's just no trail. Uh, I've always said I'd keep it real and uh, I got I gotta tell you this this trail is brutal um, it's not fun and that's a little disappointing I'm, I'm keeping it real um, you know the Pacific Crest Trail was it was fun right from the start but you know maybe that's because there was people and there was trail towns and there was camaraderie and I mean, look, look around, this is it. <laughs> There's the south where I came from, way down south, south of those, build, those far, far mountainous things. <clears throat> and then I'm going that way. And I just, I just go from, I mean, you can see a little bit of the trail kind of goes off here, but way over there, I don't know if the GoPro picked that up. That's the the marker. So you just kind of you kind of just have to bushwhack. So and it's hot. I have this umbrella. Have some high clouds. And when I don't have the high clouds, I use the umbrella. But then the wind comes up, and I don't want to destroy the umbrella. So it is what it is. Um. So I'm not hiking with space pants anymore per se. Nothing bad happened. We're best friends, but uh, he's so much taller than me, and his legs are so much longer. Um, we actually did some measuring. Every every two steps of his is like three and a half of mine, and the guy just goes. And it may not make sense to layman's, you know, non-hikers, but you can't just speed up. If you speed up, you elongate your stride, and then you get blisters where you normally wouldn't. And it's not fair to have somebody slow down. So down at that last water, down there at the windmill, I just told Space Pants, I said, look, dude, I've kept up with you for like 38 miles. 
it's just not fair to you and it's definitely not fair to me to try to keep up it's just it's too fatiguing it's just it is what it is so um, I'll probably see him tonight we're both gonna plan on sleeping at the third water cache but that guy just he's just too fast he just flies <laughs> and that's fine everybody's got their own speed so just wanted to kind of mention that if anybody asked where he is or wondered where he is but look here I am another another deal and then you can see the next one there's a little bit of a trail right here then there's the next one right down there I don't know where the where's the one after that oh yeah I can see it straight ahead straight where I'm pointing with the uh, the umbrella hiding above some trees they're they're spaced maybe I don't know 150 yards apart kind of helps but all right so I'll shut up get back to walking I will get with you guys later fish tank in the dry 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 southern Nuevo Mexico desert out everybody fish tank here so today has been another day man I I feel bad because I'm not I got a bloody nose I know I do I probably look bad but I feel bad because I'm not all happy and you know the fish tank you guys are used to but man this trail is brutal um, 19 mile day and I'm dry camping so here's a shot of the tent I know I haven't got much of the tent lately but there's nobody for hundreds of miles in any direction <laughs> so I got water back at water cash 3 I've got like six, I had 6 liters on me I just drank one so I've got 5 liters to get me like 10 more miles to water cash uh, bloody nose water cash 4 but I'm just beat so um, the sun is still up normally I'd try to get like another hour worth of hiking it's uh, about 6 o'clock um, once the sun gets down in that end of the woods over there, it sets pretty quick and I hate setting up my tent in the dark. I've set up my tent in the dark the last couple of nights, but I've already got my tent set up as you guys can see. And I'm going to crawl inside of it and cook me some Spanish rice and eat some candy bars and some sugar and drink about two liters of water. Leave me like two liters to get tomorrow. Like probably under 10 miles or maybe just barely over 10 but in the morning it's it's nice and it's a little bit cooler so 19 mile day man um this is what's really cool about this location right here is i've got one bar of uh, t-mobile so I, i've been texting bear bait and see how their sunday went so like i said um uh i feel bad because i'm not videoing much and i feel bad that i'm not hoop hoop hop hop you know yippee yippee, yippee. this is just hard it's brutal um I don't know what else to tell you guys. Um, I hear once you get to Silver City, it starts getting nicer. But man, I'm 130 miles from Silver City, 120 miles from Silver City. So I just need to get off my feet. They are killing me. I've got to air some articles out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I hope this finds everybody out there healthy, happy, and well. And uh, oh, one last thing. So um, last year on the PCT, the the uh, the mantra was live out loud this year it's dare to dream and as of yet i'm not seeing it um being honest there's not a whole lot out here to dream about other than dream about going home to bear bait and cuddle in bed with her maybe going out to dinner i tell you this is rough guys so hope this finds everybody out there healthy happy and well i'll get with you guys tomorrow from uh, like 48 miles in or something i don't know what it is but 19 mile day fish tank over and out all right hey everybody man talk about a bad night so blew up my air mattress that was brand new to start the trail and within about five minutes of laying on it it went flat so i panicked thinking okay I got a thorn in it um, and that could be due to the fact that my accordion air mattress accidentally got sent home with headband but they realized it and they left it in Lordsburg at the hotel so it's waiting for me there but so I blew it up got as fat as I could get it and I started 
rubbing water on it and listening. And I found the holes, plural. It's a manufacturer's defect. It's got about three million little holes going down one side of it. So it's, I can't fix it. But I just cooked me some uh, Mex uh, Spanish rice. I had Mexican rice last night. Tonight it is Spanish rice. And I'm uh, just trying to have a positive attitude um, with all of this. So, ah, just frustrated. All right. I hope this finds everybody well and happy and healthy. Because right now I'm not. I mean, I'm okay. I'm not dying or anything, but I'm just frustrated. So, fish tank out. Trying to wake up from a dream It's harder than it seems Birds are flying all around Some fall and hit the ground This is where I should belong Inside a simple song